Hospice of the Valley has been around for almost 35 years and has actually come to be known as one of the best hospices in the country. We have worked so hard at being exactly what the family wants. We instill in our staff, what kind of care would you want your mother to have? And that's exactly what we do every single day, 365 days a year, 24 seven with live people going to see families in their own homes or in a beautiful inpatient unit. It's a really deeply held value at Hospice of the Valley that we are a part of the community and we have an obligation to take care of the community. Our volunteer department has 2,500 volunteers at this point who donate almost 200,000 hours a year and that's in a number of different programs. One of my favorites is the 11th hour program where we provide somebody to sit with somebody at the time of death and just be a comfort. The pet therapy teams are out um, all day. We have volunteers that have gone actually and painted people's homes because it was such a mess or cleaned a patient's home. It can be anything that you want those volunteers to do and they're doing it 200,000 hours worth a year. A big part of our community involvement is partnerships with other agencies. We have partnerships with um, Mayo Clinic, with Phoenix Children's Hospital, with something called Circle the City that provides care for homeless people with an illness. We have partnerships that really further the connectivity to the community. We also do a lot of educating for, for healthcare professionals around the community. Last year, I think we might have done 900 presentations, hoping that that kind of community education then informs everybody that, that hospice care is available. It's not last minute, end of life, two day care. It's a service to the community for the patient's whole illness. I believe that it is the finest kind of service to the community.